Hi hey guys, Ralithar Renares here, and we're in for another Horde night today. Day 49, I have a bunker base going on over here. Let me go inside real quick. My little electric fence, I hear things getting shocked, I come outside, I tap them in the head. Nice little XP. Um, just hit level 100 recently though, so I'll probably add more traps, like a turret or something, just to keep them off. I've got all the XP I need now. All right, I need four more. Getting the last little bits of defense in place. I had some bars that were not iron that I did not see until the last minute, so. Over here. There we go. Outer rings should be entirely iron bars now. They were just wood before. All right. I think we're good. I'm gonna go up here. A nice little farm. Close that door. You can see my drawbridge over here to my bunker base. There's nothing crazy about it. This is an open row. I'm just trying to block a little bit of the motion sensor sights here. There's dart traps and then electric fence down the row closest to the wall. They don't stay uh, still long enough for the dart traps to really do their job unless they are being shocked or against the wall. Why not have both? And this is my little bird cage prevents all those nasty vultures from pecking at me and also this lip here of course for the spider zombies you can see i overbuilt this because i want them to have no chance to climb up i don't want to deal with any shenanigans i want them to try to pass straight through the wall and come right at me uh, the middle row here does not actually have the dart traps it's just got two electric fence rows here so they're just going to take shock damage when they come through here and if they do manage to get to the last here, then uh, we've got some more dart traps and some more electric fences. So I don't expect too much. And then the little bunker room that I'm going to be shooting from. Every time I get out and I try to play cheeky on the walls, I end up falling into my own spikes because I'm a total derp. And I'd rather not mad mullet on the video. So I'm going to stay in the bunker room and not be goofy. Well, I suppose it would help if I actually uh, turned my generator on, huh? There we go. Ah, in this direction, huh? Dark Cap's already going to town. I actually don't have hardly any combat first. I've just been grinding it out here for base and stuff. Been using the shotguns for the POIs. Now they're trying to hit the wall up there, but they got wrecked. Looks like they're actually trying to get in closer to me from the outside there. Oh wow, was that it? Nope, there's some more. You hear those dart traps doing work. Those are about uh, three quarters of a pistol shot. It's, it's close to pistol baseline, but once you add in skill points and mods and stuff like that, they're less than a pistol shot, but every second. Ha 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 ha. 
There's a thousand darts in each one of those traps, so they're not going to run short any time soon. Collector senses as long as their durability holds up, keeping them all in place, keeping them from crushing all my stuff. I don't even think they're gonna make it through the outside row tonight. Yeah, this is just a bunker base. No path and shenanigans, no hatches for people to drop zombies through and then try to pass across. No barbed wire on the walls to make them slow down. Just walls and spikes and electric fences and dart traps. Dart traps doing lots of work. the shotgun for all the POIs. I'm just using the marksman rifle to uh, use the range of it here until they get closer, but they're probably not going to get closer. I also spread out my ammo use, that way I'm not draining myself of any one ammo. Oh man, they are crying. Those electric fences are putting in heavy work. I could actually get like a maybe a four times skill, but all I've gotten is reflex sight so far. So just iron sight, aiming at body shot or head level, depending on if I think I'm going to miss or not. I'd use the AK, but uh, <laughs> with a base like this. I don't need to use that many bullets. And I've only got one forge. All of this was built over 49 days with one forge. That thing never turns off. Just keep it stocked with wood, and it goes forever. I think that that's probably it. Give a, a once around just in case. I don't want any late spawns to come in. Oh, looks like it is safe. Famous last words. And here you can see it's just iron spikes, electric fences. The start traps. I can reach them for the side right now, but I have a little door here just so I can reload the ammo easy. And if something real, real bad happens, I could conceivably hide in there, but I'm pretty sure that would be just slow death because then you'd be trapped in a little room. I'm to see if there's any real damage, but concrete actually holds up really, really well. They smashed into it in a bunch of different places, but those electric fences kept them from doing too much damage. They just sit there dancing while electrified while the dart traps kill them. I add a little bit of my own, and they just can't do anything. And they took out the electric fence here, that's why that one stopped. Might have to try to engineer a way to keep those electric fences safe. But I'm not too worried about it. If they're not making through the outer wave, then it's all good. All right. Well, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. A little cool to sec. A little. Yeah, there's one, two. Three lines of electric fins. So something gets shocked on the first one, lets me know that something's coming, and I hop down, 
and I can catch them when they hit the second one. They're just in range of melee, so while they're doing their little dance, I just pop them in the head. Nice and still target. You're not going to miss the head when they're being shocked. They can still hit you in reaction, though, so weave in and out like normal. This is my little crisis room in case everything goes really, really bad. Like, uh, I get multiple screamers that come through here, and then I've got a bunch of rads, and I don't think I can handle it. I'll do what I can from right here, and then I'll pop on over into this little crisis room and just pull out the gun, and whatever's there will be cleaned up. Anyways, guys, looks like that was about as easy as it gets. So much for melting through blocks like butter. So much for you need to do bases that abuse their, their mazing or killing corridors. Straight up bunker base. And you know what? Pretty sure it wrecked. It wrecked hard.